question number two. It says, why did he refer, okay, why did he refer to him as the prince of the power of the air? All right, so let's go to it. All right, let's read that. Let's read Ephesians chapter two and verse two. Ephesians chapter two and verse two, wherein time passed, ye walk according to the course of this world. According okay. so who is this talking about? Uh, brothers, soldiers and brothers, who is this talking about? It says in time past, ye walked to the course of this world. Who's that talking about? Soldiers and brothers. Just answer, answer. Okay. Northern Kingdom. Right, 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 right. It's talking about the Northern Kingdom of Israel. Very good, because when you read in what, verse 11 and verse 12, it talks about removing the wall of partition between the two kingdoms. Very good, very good. All right, read verse two again. Wherein time passed, ye walk according to the course of this world. Uh huh. According to the prince of the power of the air. Right, according to the prince of the power of the air. Give me John 14 real quick. All right. Who, um, so it's, it's, it's one and the same, it's synonymous. Who was ruling at this time, soldiers and brothers? Who was ruling at this time? Rome. Rome, very good. Rome was ruling at this time, all right? All right, so let's go to it. Let's go to uh, John 14 and 30. This is the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 30. Come Hereafter, on. I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. Right, the prince of this world cometh. Like the brother said, Rome was in rulership at this time. Okay, so the prince of this world, I was referring to the Romans. Think about it. Christ had to speak with wisdom, okay? He had to use wisdom. Same thing with John the Revelator. He, could, he just couldn't say, hey, the, the white man's the devil. Rome is the devil. No. So he said, the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in him. Referring to the Romans. Give me John 12 and 31. Give me John chapter 12, verse 31. The yeah, book so of we're John. Dealing we're dealing with prince, right? Because it says the prince of the power of this world. All right, read what you got. John chapter 12, verse 31. Uh -huh. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Right, 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 right. It says the prince of this world shall be cast out, shall be cast out. So that should, now you should be like, hmm, that sounds real familiar. It sounds very, very, very familiar. Let's go to Revelations 12. All right, Revelations chapter 12. And I want verse seven. The I book of Revelations seven. chapter 12, verse seven. Because and remember- there Remember, not, not that fast, all right? But don't, uh, just listen, you gotta listen to. All right, so remember, I said synonymous. Synonymous means one in the same. Two different, but they're one in the same with each other, okay? Read it. Revelation chapter 12 and verse seven. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. Come on. And prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. Right, because remember Christ said, the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me, meaning what? The Romans were in rulership. The Romans were in heaven. You understand? That's what they were. They were in heaven at that time, okay? Because they were the rulers. Read. And the great dragon was cast out. And the what? Cast out. The great dragon was cast out, meaning what? Cast out of rulership, cast out of heaven. Okay, come on. That old serpent called the devil, called and the devil. Like, which deceiveth the whole world. Right, which deceiveth the whole world. Who's responsible for deceiving the whole world? Who is that? Let's go to Isaiah 14. We're coming right back. I'm gonna make it quick. Make it quick. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 14. Come on. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. No. So it says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Who said that? Esau said that when we read the book of Obadiah, right? It's talking about their space station. All right. Read. I will be like the most high. Right. They want to be like the most high, meaning what? They changed the image of God to white, Christ white, the angels white, the people of God is white people. They say they want to be like the most high. Come on. Yeah. Thou shalt be brought down to hell, mm -hmm. to, to the sides of the pit. Come on, the bottomless pit, read. That they see 
that they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee Come and on. consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Right. Is this the man showing you what? This prince of the power? It's, it's one of the same. Yeah, it's talking about Satan, but it's talking about the Romans. It's talking about the Americans. It's talking about the so-called white man today. Okay, come on. That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof. That opened not the house of his prisoners. Right, that's talking about us. That's putting, they, they put us in slavery. They did not let us go. Let's go back to Revelations 12 and verse 8. Revelations chapter 12, verse 8. Come on. And prevailed not, neither were their place found any more in heaven. Right, so they would be cast out like we just read in John 12 and 31. Come on. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. Read. Which, which deceiveth the whole world. Uh-huh. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Satan and the white man, hand in hand. Yes, the white man is the devil, according to the Bible. All right, now because he asks, let's go back to Ephesians 2 and 2. So that deals with the prince, right? All right, so let's go back to Ephesians 2 and 2. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2. Wherein in time past, he walked according to the course of this world, uh -huh. according to the prince of the power of the air. Right, according to the prince of the power of the air. The power, now we got to deal with death. Let's go to Revelation 13. All right, I know y'all have heard me go over this before. All right, now we just bringing it all together. Y'all know you heard Bishop go over it countless amount of times. All right, Revelations 13, and I want verse 15. Revelations chapter 13 and verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast. Says that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't stop you in time. Read it again for me. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Right. The power was going into what? Words, going into media, okay? When you when you speak, what does it do? It goes into the air, it travels, you understand? Read it again. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Come on. That the image of the beast should speak, should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right, you see, it says causes them to both speak. That image speaks volumes. When you think about the, the big statue they got in, uh, what is it, uh, in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, that big behind statue of Cesar Bozier, that speaks volumes. That speaks volumes, because ma majority of that uh, land, what they, uh, Catholics, you understand, in the uh, following the Roman Catholicism here in America. That uh, Christianity speaks volumes, not just on this side of the world, but through all the world, okay? Um, from there, let's go to Revelations 18. Uh, yes, Revelations 18 and 23. Revelations chapter 18, verse 23. Come on. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. Mm -hmm. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. By thy sorceries were all nations deceived. They're gonna look upon this man and be like, is this the man that had dominion over the whole world? You understand, is this the man that kept the children of Israel in prison? Is this the man that deceived the whole world? Yes, this is him. This is that man. He did it by the sorceries, which come from who? Satan. Okay, showing you what? The Wright brothers. How do you think they learned how to fly so quickly? How, how do you think America evolved so quickly to build a nuclear bomb? Satan, by sorcery. All right, he was behind this man the whole time. Finish that out. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. Right, and all that was slain upon the earth. And then let's go to the chapter over and give me, um, start at verse one, come on. Revelations chapter 20 and verse one. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, 
having the key of the bottomless pit Come and on. a great chain in his hand. Uh huh. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. Come on. And bound him a thousand years. That's talking about Esau. He's that red dragon. Genesis 25 and 25. It says that they will be bound a thousand years once the kingdom comes to earth. Come on. A thousand years. Now I got to show you that. Give me um, Revelations 21 and verse. Uh, tw three. 21 and three. Watch this. Revelations chapter 21 and verse three. Come on. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Uh huh. And he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. Right. So at this time, it says that what? He would be bound a thousand years. Okay. Verse three, because everybody always wonders like, what is it talking about? He'll be loose for a season. Let's read verse three. Come on. Revelations chapter 20, verse three. Come on. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nation no more. Right. Who deceived the nations? Esau, the so-called white man did it. It's telling you who it is. He's the one who did it. It's not talking about this guy with a pitchfork with horns. No, it's talking about the white man. He's the one responsible for deceiving the nations. Come on. Till the thousand years shall be fulfilled. Right, till the thousand years shall be fulfilled. Come on. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. Right, and after that, he must be loosed a little season. Go to um, Ezekiel 38 real quick. All right, and we're going to drop this. Um, let's go to uh, Ezekiel 38 and start at verse. Let's go to verse 7. Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse 7. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Come on. After many days thou shalt be visited. In the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword. Right, the land that is brought back from the sword is New Jerusalem. Remember we read in Revelations 21 and 3, it says uh, the kingdom, is go he's going to dwell with men. That's the land that's going to be brought back. So this is what Ezekiel 38 is talking about. All right, read on. And is gathered out of many people mm -hmm. against the mountains of Israel. Indeed which have been always waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Right, why has it been always waste? Because we was in captivity. The rightful, uh, the rightful inhabitants of the land were not there anymore. That's why it's always laid waste, all right? Read on. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Come on. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Thou and all thy bands and many people with thee. Come on. Thus saith the Lord God, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind and thou shalt think an evil thought. Right. So when you read verse one, this is talking about Gog and Magog. This is talking about European nations. Gog and Magog, that's Europe, Germany, all of that over there. Okay. So that's who it's going back to right here in verse 10. It says, thus saith the Lord God, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind. Meaning what? When the Israelites are reigning those thousand years, what's going to come to their mind? Read on. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the That's land. Not, no, you ain't finish it. You ain't finish it. And thou shalt think an evil thought. It and says, thou shalt thou think. think. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. It says, and thou shalt think an evil thought. What is that evil thought? To try to rule again. That's them being loosed after the 1,000 years to try to usurp authority over the Israelites again. All right, read verse 10 all the way through. Then we're going back to Revelations. Verse 10. Oh. Thus saith the Lord God, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thy shall think an evil thought. Right, that evil thought. Let's go back to Revelations 20 and 3. Revelations chapter 20, verse 3. 
Come on. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should not, that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. Come on. And, and after that, he must be loose a little season. You see that thing right there? So he's going to try to do it again. He'll try to do it again, but that's a no go. And then there's going to be what? Obadiah. Let's, let's go read the good news in Obadiah. Come on. Let's do that. Obadiah. Chapter one and verse one. No, no, I thought you, I thought you, I thought you had it. Uh, Obadiah chapter um, one and verse. Let's start at um, verse ten. Obadiah chapter one verse ten. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Right. So that violence keeping us in prison, like it said in Isaiah fourteen. Read it again. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. Shame and shall thou, cover thee, read. And thou shalt be cut off forever. For how long? Forever. Right, because they're gonna try to they're gonna try to do it again. They're gonna try to deceive her. Nope. Most I said, nope, not this time. Read verse 18. Verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. Come on. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. Uh -huh. And there shall not be any remain of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken it. Right, right, right. For the Lord has spoken it. All right. So get a better understanding on that. So they will go into captivity. Yes, Esau will go into captivity before they are wiped off the face of the earth for good. For good. Just like when we read in Job a few classes back. Talked about it's gonna be like a bad dream. I'm like, hey, you remember those uh those uh the people that look like ghosts? You remember them? What was their name again? It's gonna be done. They ain't gonna be on the earth no more. Thus save the Lord. It's a good thing. It's a very good thing. So, prince of the power of the air, that's what it's going into. It's that prince of Satan, the white man. The power is the words, the media, and the air is where those words and media travel through because that's how they were able to deceive the whole world, okay? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.